Hi, this is Adam Sweet. Today I want to talk about practicing scales. Uh, when you practice your scales, I recommend that you pick a different scale uh, in uh, around the circle of fifths uh, each week. So uh, if you're going to start uh, with C major at the top with no sharps or flats, uh, then you're going to practice the next week, you're going to practice a fifth higher, which is G, then a fifth higher, which is D, then A, then E, then B, then F sharp, and then C sharp. Uh, then you go back to C and go the other way, uh, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. Um, so when you practice a scale, what I recommend that you do is that you add three, possibly four, right hand uh, picking patterns uh, in addition to playing the scale, practicing the scale. So take C, for example, I recommend uh, four picking patterns. The first is quarter notes. So you would do four quarter notes per note, starting with C. And so on. Uh, the next set of excuse me. Uh, the next set of picking patterns is eighth notes, and we're going to do two sets of four eighth notes per note. And you you apply a little pulse uh, at the beginning of each set of four. So back to C again. So it sounds like this. All right, um, the next pattern are two sets of triplets with a pulse on the first of each set of three. Okay, uh, and the last uh, pattern is uh, three sets of quarter notes with an emphasis on the one. So. Okay, the reason why I picked these uh, four patterns is they are the most common uh, patterns that you will be playing in uh, just about every style of music that I'm going to teach you. So if you're going to be playing uh, classical, you're going to use all of them. If you're going to be playing uh, traditional uh, Americana or bluegrass, you're going to use the quarter notes and the eighth notes. If you're going to be playing traditional dance music like Celtic music or Irish music, you're going to use uh, all of the different forms. Um, if you're going to be playing Bal Balkan music or klezmer, um, you're going to be using the 3-4 pattern, the last pattern, as well as the other patterns. Uh, so uh, these are highly recommended. And uh, once again, when you do your scales, um, always pick a pattern that you're going to practice. And that's why I recommend the circle of fifths, because it's the easiest to remember. If you like, you can take your calendar app and you can plug in all of the scale uh, sets that you're going to practice each day so that it automatically comes up on your smartphone or your computer at home and you don't need to try to remember, rack your brains and remember what scale you're working on for that week. Um, in addition to practicing the scale, I think that you should also practice the relative minor. Um, uh, same deal, two octaves, rel relative minor. Now, what is the relative minor? The relative minor is the uh, minor uh, scale that's related to the major, meaning it has the same key signature as the major. So in the case of C, the relative minor is uh, A. That's because 
the sixth position of the C major scale is A. And because it's relative to C, it, it has no sharps or flats. So for the relative minor, we're going to start with the lowest A, which in this case is first finger on the second fret G string. Uh, but we're not going to play any sharps or flats. And I'll just pick one of the patterns. I'll do uh, four quarter notes per note. C natural. F natural. So uh, that's the relative minor of C major is A minor. Uh, it's also uh, referred to as C aeolian um, because, there, uh, because aeolian is one of the seven modes. It's also minor. Um, in addition to practicing your major scale and your relative minor, I recommend that you also practice the arpeggio for each. So the arpeggio consists of the first, the third, the fifth and the octave of the scale. So in the case of C, the first is C, the third is E, the fifth is G, and the octave again is C. So it goes like this. Uh, we'll do quarter notes again. C, D, I'm sorry, E, G, and C. And then back. And if you're going to do two octaves, which I recommend, stretch uh, for the high C. Uh, pop-ups, I hate pop-ups. Um, and the uh, uh, arpeggio for the relative minor, uh, starting on A, is going to be A, C, E, and the octave, A. Okay, so to recap, you're going to do um, the major scale, two octaves, um, at, with the four picking patterns, which are quarter notes, two sets of four eighth notes, two sets of triplets, and one uh, and three uh, quarter notes um, each week. So starting with C, no sharps or flats, and then going up by fifths each week, uh, and then down by fifths each week after you've completed the uh, clockwise pattern. Uh, then you're gonna do the relative minor, and the way you figure that out is you count up to the sixth uh, step, starting with the first step, um, and then you're gonna do the two arpeggios, and the, this whole practice should take you about 12 minutes. So you can get into the habit of doing it every day, and it's just going to eventually s soak into your brain, and then you won't be able to get rid of it. Uh, and you'll learn how you can apply these patterns uh, and these notes to uh, all kinds of music. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If you need to contact me, you can go do that through my website. All the links are below, uh, and I hope you have a great day.